In today's video, I want to take a look at the NCAR, the public transportation, the train system, the train network, whatever you want to call it, that we never saw in the final release of Cyberpunk 2077. And before we get into this video, uh, guys, I had a little look on my analytics and 97% of you watching are currently not subscribed. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Guys, if you like this content, if you enjoy it, if you want to see more, please do consider subscribing. It would, uh, it would really make my day, so thank you. First of all, we are starting off with the Encart station, which is just outside of V's apartment. This is one of the first places which you can actually come across. This elevator right about here actually takes you up to a platform A and a platform B. This is what the interior of a Encart station might have looked like at some point in time. We can see that these doors are completely locked and unusable, but it is presumed that at one point in time, these would have opened up and the player would have been able to hop on a train. We can also check out platform B, but it is very much the same kind of situation. You will notice that NPCs do actually spawn in here, but if you watch them for long enough, they will either stay here indefinitely and never do anything, or eventually they'll get up and walk out. But these doors never open, the trains never stop at stations, they will just fly around, do their own thing. All of this is completely for show. Cyberpunk 2077 puts the actual train on top of the track. There is just one level of track, so even though there's another station down here, the trains will only actually go on top of the track. And this is the case for anywhere in the city, doesn't matter what station it is, doesn't matter what district it is, it will always behave exactly the same. But this is interesting because if you ever watch Edge Runners, then you can see that the NCAR trains actually go below the track. Uh, so what the hell is going on with this? Uh, well, I think it's kind of up in the air and I wasn't able to find a solid answer. 2077 did at one point in time want to have a mixture of both, i.e. a train on the track above and on the same track but hanging down from below. And this is pretty evident when you look at some of these NCART stations. So like this one, for example, the reason why there are two of the exact same copied and pasted waiting areas is because it was built to have two trains, one hanging down below and one riding straight on top. And you can see evidence of these double layered tracks a, a little bit more subtly, still actually in the game, they haven't been removed, but they're just a little bit more hidden. Like for example, any areas of track which have these big colored metal sheets on either side. In this case, we have a yellow one, but there's also some blue ones as well. You can see that there is obviously a track on the top of this uh, metal, or whatever you want to call it. But on the bottom, there is also a track pretty much exactly copied and pasted. And if you were to follow this underneath, you can even see that the train would fit nicely in between these little supports. There's even some parts of the track that are housed that have an actual kind of uh, tunnel. There are also a great amount of these big empty glass structures scattered around various end cart lines. These can be found at random intervals and I'll show a few of them just to prove that they do vary in size and some of them are a little bit more detailed than others. Like for example, this one has one, two, three, four, five doors, but ultimately lead into this big empty waiting room, which lacks a lot of detail, but again is very, very obvious that this was planned and intended to be maybe even just a loading screen, but regardless, still inside of the game. Attached to this station as well is also this big walkway, which you cannot get to normally. This is a perfectly functional part of the NCART station, which gives a nice little bit of verticality. This particular place as well also has like these doors, for example, which you can see are actually see-through. These are very commonly uh, usable doors in Cyberpunk 2077. If you clip behind them, you can see that the uh, little walkway does kind of continue, but ultimately it doesn't lead to anything. Here's another example of one of these big glass waiting areas, a very large structure that is completely and utterly unused. This area as well also has a, a second support, almost as if there was supposed to be another NCART track basically going right next to it. Trains in the actual game usually travel this way, 
Perhaps this one was supposed to be coming back this way. I don't know, but it's still pretty cool. This is mega building number nine. And my belief is that this place at one point in time might have also housed some kind of NCART station some kind of train station and there's a little bit of evidence to support this right next to the line we actually do have this big concrete platform which isn't unique to NCART by all means this is actually usually just a part of mega buildings but interestingly what it does have that a lot of places don't have is this big staircase which you can actually walk up if you were in any sort of doubt that this maybe was an NCART station at one point in time well uh, hopefully this will kind of put your mind at ease if you clip through this building you can see that just kind of floating in midair we have a lot of random props a lot of metal gates a lot of turnstiles even uh, what looks to be a newspaper or maybe some kind of grate um, i can't really work out what that actually is but there are a few of these all dotted around at seemingly kind of predictable and logical corners of this completely unused interior now we have one here which has a nice advertisement we have another one here which has a nice advertisement and extra gates on top and um if you're wondering yeah these are actually solid like you can stand on these these work perfectly as intended and there's also one over here again a similar kind of situation and also one over here so we basically have four symmetrical props which all kind of to me at least look like they might have been a part of a missing NCAR interior. If we were to follow this track a little bit further up, we would also come across a huge building. This building is fucking massive. This is one of the uh, very few locations left in game that actually have some kind of, you know, building, some kind of unique building that is attached to it that never really saw the light, but definitely saw some kind of conceptual uh, stage, you know, to being built. This place, for example, does actually have a platform which you can wait on. And uh, once upon a time these doors were actually usable when the game first came out you could open these doors and um, they weren't locked off or or anything as you can see since then they have been locked but clipping behind them we can see that we have some kind of semblance of logic some kind of building which is very big which has windows which you can look out of but all the way down here as well we have a solid floor we don't have a lot of culling which usually happens when you uh, clip into unused buildings you know things start popping in and out at a kind of crazy pace here that isn't really happening it seems like this was supposed to be very much usable by the player and if you clip a little bit further down as well we can see again a similar kind of thing a fully modeled sort of interior with a floor that you can walk on, with windows which you can look out of. I don't know, seems a little bit coincidental to just be a, uh, a random building with collision. We have a very similar situation, just literally a, a stop away from where we just were. This is again another huge NCART station which has a ginormous platform. Like, look at the absolute girth on this platform. This thing's fucking massive. This station, at one point in time, first of all had barriers, so you couldn't even walk all the way down here. It was usually stop you at about here, you get some kind of awkward collision. But these two doors were completely absent, so you could actually just see straight through them, and it would take you uh, pretty much just underneath the map. I'm also going to show you what I believe to be is a original design for NCOT stations. Again, you know, thinking about how the trains were probably at one point in time supposed to go under the track and above the track. Uh, well, we had that example in V's Mega Building, but we also have numerous examples of these very intricate but also very broken designs for how a uh, NCART station might have looked. These ones are pretty unique because they have these yellow doors, and these doors, to my knowledge, are not seen anywhere else in Night City. I genuinely cannot think of a time where I have seen these models for a building for... For, for anything, it's it's incredible. And it's interesting as well because they don't even fully fit together. Like you can see that you can just, you know, <laughs> look into the map. But just like before, we have a set of doors above and a set of doors 
kind of below or maybe not even below but sort of level and inside these is really not a lot going on again just like very questionable interiors but you can at least look outside and this floor is also solid right at the bottom as well we also have this uh, nice tiling which i don't know to me at least looks a lot like something you would see in a train station i don't know if i'm kind of grasping at straws here but this looks uh, very you know london underground-esque so I don't know, man. And also, if we click below this, we can see this weird door, which isn't used. Um, I don't really know what's going on with this. There's also a very small buzzer thing, a little cooler, little, uh, what do you call it, a little numpad thing, which, um, again, is uh, completely unused. Uh, this isn't used for anything, so I wonder why that's here. Uh, to me, at least, I think this whole building was probably supposed to be an NCART station. I think there was probably a lot going on at some point in time. So I want to finish this video with my personal favourite NCART location that always stings and it always confuses me. And that is the Corpo Plaza Underground Tube Station. This entranceway though was actually conceptualised. Um, there's concept art for this exact place and it looks very different to how it actually appears in game. Uh, again, alluding to the fact that NCART was supposed to be a much more impactful area of gameplay. This is what I would assume to be one of the most detailed stations that we currently have in Cyberpunk 2077. And there's a lot of weird things about this place which I like to bring up. First of all, there are two lifts which are completely out of bounds. They have this kind of police tape on them, as if there's been a sort of crime scene going on. And we can clip into these and see that, yeah, they're modelled and they look like lifts, but they don't have any kind of panel. I don't think they were ever intended to be used. Um, not really entirely sure, but it's the same as that one. If we were to follow the uh, station a little bit around here as well, we can see that there are a numerous amount of interesting structures. First of all, floor zero one, there is actually stairs and it does actually go down a little bit until it hits this big brick wall but again like it's all modeled it all has collision anyway we can see that this does actually lead to uh, a set of metal detectors interestingly npcs will walk through these and they will wait on the station as you can see right in there we're going to get in there very shortly first of all though i want to show you something really fucking cool about this location if you clip underneath the map you can see that just underneath these metal detectors, which you usually use to uh, fast travel, are a separate copied and pasted set of metal detectors that simply have the security, please enter individually. And you might know that these are indeed used throughout Night City and usually alert enemies if you have weapons or if you are in a hostile zone. So why the hell are these directly below these metal detectors? Uh, well, I think it's pretty obvious that these were probably supposed to be the actual entrances to NCOT stations. Ultimately, they should have allowed the player to simply walk through instead of hitting an invisible barrier. If the player had weapons, it probably would have gone off like they do in the rest of the game. So yeah, that's interesting. And that has been there again for a very long time. So it's funny that CDPR have done absolutely nothing with that. So pretty cool. Now we can actually clip onto this uh, train station and it looks a little bit dodgy. So just uh, bear with me. So if we pop our flashlight on, we can see that NPCs do actually come through here, but they all kind of just awkwardly stand around, not really doing a lot. Some of them have some very basic animations, but they just kind of bug out a little bit. Trains never come through here, which is a bit of a shame, but also not surprising considering um, we're never supposed to be on this platform. Over here is a cutout for where one of those closed off lifts probably would have gone to at some point in time. You can see that there's nothing really here, but there is at the very least a cutout for where the elevator would be. On the other side of the platform as well, we can see a similar thing with uh, this lift which is actually modelled. You can see that there is indeed a lift down on this platform. And just like the one above, it doesn't have a lift panel. Uh, but it's here. It's, it's here, guys. And that is actually all that matters. So I think this is pretty good evidence that, uh, well, first of all, this entire underground station 
was probably supposed to be used. I mean, it was literally conceptualized. I think most likely this place probably had like three floors. It would have had your ground level where we were at the beginning. It would then have your first floor like this and maybe then a floor zero or a floor minus one kind of down below. Uh, these tunnels also don't go on forever so you can kind of fly down and they just abruptly stop. Um, but regardless, this is the closest look at how a functional NCART station probably would have looked in the game. So guys, that just about sums up everything I want to say. Uh, there is a lot more, there is so much more when it comes to this stuff, but you know. As always, let me know what you think. Do you think that this was supposed to be something bigger? Or do you think this is just CDPR well building, CDPR being CDPR? Let me know in the comment section of the video. Thank you very much for watching guys, and as always, I'll catch you lot in the next one. Cheers.